Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're gonna talk about another offering from Fire Maple. This is their X2 Pro. So this is a fantastic unit for boiling water and heating up soups and things like that. On the side of the package you can see that there's an exploded diagram showing you all the stuff that is made up in this kit. And then you have the corresponding numbers that tells you what each piece is. So number two here is the extra pot stand. And then, of course, on the back of the package here, you can see some specifications of the unit. This is a camping cooking system, 2.2 kilowatts of power, 158 grams per hour of fuel, and it puts out 7,500 BTUs per hour. It does give you the dimensions folded on the bottom and unfolded on the top. This is designed for expeditions and trekking. However, you can use it for things like motorcycle camping, putting it on a boat, stuff like that. So this is a fantastic unit for getting a boil very quickly when you're out in the woods. So it's made out of aluminum alloy, stainless steel. There's copper, silicone. The unit weight is 19.8 ounces or 560 grams. And here are some certifications. Of course, right here we have some information for Fire Maple if you want to find them online. They predict a half of a liter to boil in under two minutes. So a minute, 42 seconds, fast boiling. Compared to the original X2 design, this one has much less plastic. So it's 70 grams lighter than the original. They reduce plastic on the handle and the stove base on the burner base of this unit. They also redesigned it and made it a more seamless fit to your fuel canister, which is awesome because this avoids the uneven stress that is put on the O-rings. It also reduces the risk of any potential for gas leaks. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. I wanna say thank you to Fire Maple for sending this unit out for review. I'm very excited about this one. The last unit that I reviewed was absolutely fantastic. As you can see, there's the unit there, and in the bottom, there's the user manual. So you get this beautiful user manual here, and it shows the exploded diagram that shows how everything nests together. X2 Pro. So here, we have some specifications and the instruction manual in English. Feel free to pause if there's anything there that you wish to read a little bit longer. I think it's fantastic. So here is my fuel canister. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and look and see what it looks like. Let's get our first look. This mesh bag is really nice. Very nice drawstring bag. It says Fire Maple on it. This can be used in a survival situation for so many things. You could use it to carry around wild edible plants. You could carry food. You could carry whatever you want in that bag. So here you can see this neoprene sleeve that's around the cooker. And then on the bottom, you can see the fins on the heat exchanger. So what that does is that heats up very evenly the bottom of the pot and it makes for a very fast boil time. There are some warnings, and then you can see the Fire Maple logo. I just really like this. You got the little brass ball, just pull that out of the way, and then the handle folds straight back and locks into position. I like that handle. They did a good job on that. Nice secure fit, and then of course you can see the lid here. One thing that I want to make note of on this lid that I really like is the fact that this rubber portion can be removed. You just pop that right out, just like that. Now, I'm not saying that you would need to do that, but the, the ability to do it, I think that's pretty cool. 
and it's very easy to put back in and as you can see this lid does have the drainage ports here so if you're going to be cooking ground beef or noodles or pasta or something and you want to pour off the water you can absolutely do that with this lid so very nice they do include two replacement o-rings that's pretty cool and it talks about regularly checking the o-rings at the bottom of the valve and replace them with the o-ring and in the maintenance kit if they get damaged so very cool that they include that the next thing that we see is something that i'm really excited about this is the adapter that allows us to use standard pots with this unit so very nice pot supports you just fold them out just like this there's four of them and then this can sit on the burner and you can use a standard pot the next thing that we see is a little cardboard insert don't need that and then of course down in the bottom we find the burner itself so we're going to unpackage this and as you can see everything is packaged very well they do have a piezo igniter on this so very cool you do have this little tripod deal and what this does is this holds your fuel canisters so you have more stability you just pop that on just like this and let's get this other one just like that it just sits right there on your fuel canister just like that and now when you set your fuel canister down even on an uneven uh, surface it keeps it a lot more stable so you're not jumping around or anything like that with your fuel canister so let's take a look at this here you can see that there's a tag here so feel free to pause if you want to read this little tag and then on the other end there is some information so this is the burner we have the piezo igniter and you can see that they've reduced a lot of the plastic off of this new x2 version the push for the piezo is right there so that's how we get the thing started and right inside of there is where the o-rings are that if you need to replace them they're right inside of there so to put the unit on the fuel canister it's very simple we'll just make sure that the valve is off and thread it right onto the fuel canister so just like that and now we're connected and we can go ahead and fire it up at this point now if you look on the pot you can see that we have these little cutouts right here and right here there's two of them one on each side and what those cutouts do is they correspond to these little bumps there's one here and then one on the opposite side so when you rest this down into that cutout area it becomes a unit that you can pick up and hold all from the top and then if you want to twist this off this will disconnect from the burner so very very cool let's go ahead and take a look at how easy it is to start this up with the piezo igniter so we'll just turn the fuel on just a little bit till we hear it right there and click that piezo and as you can see we are now up and running okay let's go ahead and put about two cups of water in here so we should be around half of a liter we're gonna go ahead and set this on and we'll turn this up and we'll start our time we're gonna bring this up to a boil let's go ahead and cover it and let's see how long it takes to boil two cups of water it's a little bit windy out today so I'm expecting it to be a tiny bit slow we're a minute 24 seconds in and let me show you what we're looking at down there you can see the little bubbles starting to form down there so we are close to reaching that rolling boil and there you can see we have a rolling boil I'm gonna go ahead and stop the time and take a look there's our water nice heavy rolling boil a minute and 52 seconds so it did really well even though we're dealing with wind and all this other stuff out here today so not ideal circumstances for testing but 
I'm kind of glad that we got to show that because you can see the performance of this is absolutely fantastic. Again, nice, heavy, rolling boil. And I've turned it down. Very cool. Now, if you want to take the pot off, you can just twist it and lift straight off. And there's your pot with your hot water. So if you want to purify your water or whatever you're trying to do, this is a good unit for that. This piece here, what this does is it just sits right there, right around the side, fits right into place. Very nice, like that. And then we can use a standard pot to warm things up on this burner. So let's go ahead and start it up again. We'll get a standard pot. And I know this might look funny. This is not jelly in here. This is actually some soup that we made at home. We're going to pour that in there and heat up our soup using that adapter. And it doesn't take long. You can cook normal stuff on this burner. This is absolutely fantastic. And by the looks of it, it looks like our soup is actually starting to boil. So that was pretty fast. Now I can kind of turn it down to a simmer and enjoy my soup. That is fantastic. So now we have some nice soup ready to eat up here. And while the soup is cooling down, we're gonna put this water back on and we're gonna make some wilderness tea. So here I have a little bit of yarrow. So I'll just break that up. This is yarrow. Break that up and drop that in the water. And I also have some stinging nettle. So we'll just break that up as well. Put that in the pot and we'll make us a nice tea. We'll bring this up to a boil and then once it reaches a boil we'll turn the heat off and let it steep for about five minutes and then we'll have some nice medicinal quality tea out here in the wilderness. And there you can see we have reached a rolling boil. We'll just go ahead and turn that off, cover this and let it steep. Let's go ahead and give that soup a try. Oh, that looks delicious. All kinds of good stuff in there. Mmm. That is fantastic. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is delicious. How's our tea coming along here? Let's take a look at that stinging nettle yarrow tea. Boy, that looks fantastic. Lots of medicinal value in there. I'm just going to let it cool and then we'll give it a taste. Oh, that soup hit the spot. Mm. Food just tastes so much better when you're out in the woods. There's lots of wild medicinal plants here. I'll show you some of them real quick. So just in this little area where I'm filming, there is right here, this is wood sorrel. There's wild strawberry. There is the yarrow that we made the tea with right there. And then up here, there's a mullein rosette. So all right here, close where I'm filming this video today. This is such a beautiful place to come to. them pine cones in the tree up there. What a beautiful gift that we have from God. So now the stinging nettle tea has had time to cool down. Let's go ahead and taste it. Oh, that is delicious. Yarrow and stinging nettle tea. Perfect. That is really good tea. If you had a cold or anything going on, this stuff is highly medicinal.
And don't forget your extra O-rings down inside. The nesting options are fantastic. This is a good system. Well folks, my final thoughts on this Fire Maple Star X2 cook set. This is fantastic. This burner at 7500 BTUs puts out plenty of power to bring that water up to a boil. I love the fact that they include this adapter which lets you use the standard pots and pans on this cooking system. The heat dissipation fins here and the heat exchanger works like a champ. Everything nests together very well. I love the pot support system. The lid is fantastic. It's flexible. It works very good. This overall is a very, very good system. If you guys are interested in this system, I'll put a link in the description box down below. The nesting system that this all fits together with is fantastic. This thing doesn't weigh a lot. It performs very well. It's easy to put away. It's just a fantastic system. So with all that being said, folks, thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you're interested in this cooking system, I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find it. And until next time, folks, thank you for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.